Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once more to Y'all Need Cotton. So, right. What to do, what to do. Hmm. I am not entirely sure. Gifted commander. Ooh. Entrencher as well. Very, very nice. Could be quite handy with the St. Louis force actually. Send him over here to Rolla. Is this music too loud, or am I just... I'm going to assume it's okay. Right. <laughs> hello! Hello, hello! Do we have 12 and 6 pound cannon? Yes! Thank you! Please give me that! Oh, I want that so much. Okay. Hmm. Forty days. Right then, we'll head over here to Luna. And, um, right, there's 78 supplies there. That should be enough. Yeah, so we have about 40 supply there. They carry 20 themselves. Yes, they should have enough to fully restock, which will be fantastic. Right, we have the Ironclads on their way out to the north. We have more forces being uh, built in the south, actually. Do I need more forces built in the south? Hmm. It's a commitment of troop and material that is going to be effectively sitting there. I'm not entirely sure. Now, I do wonder if I can bring the Union to battle by attacking over here. That does make me wonder. But we are going to go for a new plan, as apparently we can't take DC now. As <laughs> I don't know how they get all those men. I'm going to say either event spawned or just about that they have access to cores, but my god, that's a lot of troops. So yes, I do believe we should head north and take the industrial heartlands of the Union. Right then, what do we have in the way of strength over here? I mean, we do have a lot of strength here. In this force alone, there's about uh, 15,000 men in total combined with cavalry. Here's another 15,000 men, so that's about uh, 30,000 men. The main army of 50-odd thousand men. So I can take the army of the Potomac. And we can head off. Right, so we will go for a conservative attack. We'll head for Baltimore. If we can get to Baltimore... And take Baldy, then I do believe we will be able to cause a significant amount of damage to the Union's morale. But that's how it's got to be, we've got to go for these points. So we have Baltimore, Wilmington, Philadelphia, Trenton, Jersey City and New York City. Those are the ones in our warpath. If we can take those, we might be able to do a significant amount of damage to the Union. Right. Now this is why I wish I had marines. If I had marines I could go for some kind of diversionary attack upon the Union shore somewhere. Just try and land troops, try and be a general nuisance really. Okay. We do need to respond to these guys over here. It might be worthwhile actually having somebody take command of these forces and we take them out of the actual city. And we go for... Mora! Active defensive routes. Let's see. Okay, we do have quite a few commanders over here. We do have some supplies. That's fantastic. Jay Walker's force. Right, we'll combine these groups together. There's a good amount of strength here. It's about 10,000 men. It's not exactly tidy. Right, we'll need another few commanders. Aragon, training master. Training master, that's pretty good. All units in his stack. We have a two-star over here. Very interesting. So you can see here how the combat power has been altered. I believe if we get another general in there, we might be okay. Militiamen, it's not going to be too helpful. Oh, we do have this force as well, don't we? Hmm. 
No, but I was making things worse. Okay. 422, 322. Who would lead the stack without him being there? Right, you would. That's not exactly bad, actually. He is pretty good in some ways. If we go over here, we can see that he has um, a strategic of 5. He would be rather good for martial sound and guns. His offensive is okay. Defensive, meh. But offensive is where we need our points right now. So if I can go for these forces over here, we can try and take that supply. Try and bring it into use for the Confederacy. I think that might be a good way to repel the invaders. So we have this force over here then, at Bowling Green. Right, a good army administrator. Very nice. Okay. So we have destroyed the rails over here. We do have forces over here. Tennessee Guard. Hmm. Interesting. We might be better off building a depot here, actually. Lexington. Interesting. I could always split the force in half, that would make it easier to maintain, actually. As we do have rail links, that wouldn't be the worst idea ever. Right. Can I make you... Yes, I can. I can make you a core of the army. So we'll split the force in half. Give him half of our forces roundabout. Okay. Now what we can do is we can go inside over here. We can build a depot. Same over here. Build a depot. We'll gain supplies from both of these cities, and then once we have a good amount of supply, we can go for St. Louis. There's not too much in the way on top of St. Louis, but there's a significant amount of men within the city, so I'd rather not piss them off, you know. Right, have them like that. Okie okay, We still have those rails broken over here, which is pretty good. Hmm. We're not out of the war, by any means. Things are going to get more interesting, though. That I can promise. Okay, four more turns, well, four turns, five turns until we have that artillery. Even more turns for these. That's not exactly great. It's our heavy artillery, however. Can I get any units are basically war material free? Okay. Mid-Atlantic. Ah, nine war supply. Two war supply. Hmm. Interesting. I do have a few of these volunteers. Having a few volunteers wouldn't be bad. What do we get with the Marines? We get about 600 men. 13 firepower, 13, 17 firepower. Hmm. Assault is 9. Let's compare that to the Volunteers. Yeah, so the Volunteer is just overall not as good as a Marine, obviously. Discipline is higher for the Marine. The capabilities are higher for the Marine. That is our 10 conscripts, 32 money, and 2 war supply. Whereas here it's 16 cash. Yeah. So it's about double for double, almost. I might actually build some Marines. It's not a bad investment, really. They are fairly decent and definitely capable. But I'm going to build some more volunteers in these cities to basically hold out. These towns, I should say. If we can make it difficult for the Union, that's what I want. Okay, can't do any more now. Righty-o. Oh. So, basically, it's all up to... Uh, the army of the Shinoda. Oh, sorry, no, the army of the Potomac. 
rather than we'll save here. And it's been a very long time since I actually played this game. I think it's been, god, it's been a long time since I played Civil War 2. So I thought, uh, while I had some free time, I would get back into this. I would love to bring these ships to port to give them some time to recover, but I can't afford to. Right, we have the possible landings over here. Hopefully they will be bombarded back to the Stone Age, but we'll give them a hand. Right, we do have these forces at Savannah that are already being uh, diverted over there. Okay. We'll send this, uh, oh right, you're already at Norfolk, aren't you? Fair enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right then. Let's see what happens. I do hope that we don't actually attack the army over here. That would be rather dangerous. So, we might go for something like that. The reason why is because I don't want to attack this stack over here and cause the collapse of the Union. Uh, sorry, to cause the collapse of the Confederacy. So I'd rather take it safe, you know. We may be able to avoid battle completely. Which would be rather interesting. That fair Union commander has a mighty beard. Oh... Oh, wow, okay. Why have they come out? 33,000 men. Is this a new army? No. Why have they come out? That's so strange. Okay, what would it have us pick? Why would I pick that? That's ridiculous. We want something that has the possibility of defeating their plans. Right, call reserves would defeat infantry countercharge, but I don't believe they would go for that. I do like unit overlap, it's a solid plan. Hmm. Fight and withdrawal. Wide spacing. Skirmishers is pretty nice. The battle plan will position skirmishers in front of. Uh, Infantry to screen them, increases cohesion, frontage protection, and, and attack values for our infantry. But if it fails to increase our enemy's attack, and... Uh, hmm. We'll go for the unit overlap. I do tend to rely on this one too much, but it will protect against mass fire. So, I've no idea how this will go. I imagine they're probably going to be reinforced. Considering they have a... They do have an advantage in infantry, though. Not by that much. We do have a... Advantage in cavalry and artillery. Artillery where it matters most. Okay, it's looking good so far. I am intrigued as why they came out though. I mean, I was in a defensive posture. Hmm. Unless the Union entered the province. I am not complaining. I am absolutely not going to complain about that one bit. No sorry. I am very happy with that result. And we captured 20 pounds of artillery. 20 pounds are amazing. Heavy artillery. Ah, oh, these are parrot guns. Why did... I'm so confused by the Union. Oh my god, and we captured 10 pounders. Oh, thank you. Well then, thank you to the Union's uh, generous, generous donation of war supply. Yummy. Right. Okay. I could replace these over here with that captured Union artillery, which I think I will. I am happy with that one. Very happy. Right, we are moving out. Why is our cohesion bad? Interesting. Right, okay, we'll head over here to Rockbridge. And then we'll enter the town. But that was a nice battle. We actually gained about free morale from that. Let's try and find that over here. Ah, yes, there we go. Our merchant raids have sunk merchant ships worth 45 money and 50 war so blah, blah, war supply. Yes, we captured that. The army of Potomac is blocked by enemy positions. Right, I see. 
Yes, wow, we captured a lot of prisoners there as well. Free national morale. We lost 738 men. They lost over 6,000, and we took 4,000 prisoners. My god. Yes. A lot of them surrendered. Captured 13 war supply as well. Right, so our plans were all successful. So were theirs, which is interesting. Hmm. Right, they lost a few commanders as well. Now this changes the situation. I could have them in this posture. Now what that means is... Anything that enters the province will be attacked. At least it should be. Right. There's not that much power in this city. Do we have any landmines? Hmm. Interesting. Right, we can build our defensive positions up as well. Fantastic. Spies. Partisans. Hmm. Very interesting. Could we use the submarine out over here? No, I doubt it. Ah, I'm rather happy about that result. That's really changed things. I didn't think that would happen. I never anticipated anything like that. Right. That's a smallish force. We could defeat that force. Okay, we are going to head out over there. We'll go with a uh, offensive posture, but a conservative posture, that one. That town should be okay. Right, we'll have them come into port. There's no sense of them just being out there for no reason. Okay, we do need to repair these ships. Hmm. I'm just shocked, really. That we got something like that. That was incredible. Militia. What are the Union doing? Why have they weakened St. Louis so? Hmm. I think we're going to leave these supply wagons over here. How much supply do we have? We have about 90% uh, of our supply here. Okay. So we have about less than a turn... Well, about just over a turn's worth. It might be enough to see us through, and then we'll have those supplies carry us onwards. Right. Supplies not as high here. Five days. Six days. I do think it would be better for us to meet up over here before we went for any attack. At least then we could attack um, together, where we're going to have the most chance of success. Ah, right, yes. Now where did Shelby go? Did I have Shelby in- ah, right, Shelby's over here, okay. Ah, these guys are actually ready to move on now. Fantastic. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to burn the fort as we leave. Burn that fort to the ground. Head over here, and take possession of that one. Then, uh, we should be able to burn that to the ground afterwards. Make it hard for the Union to move across this area. Hmm... We didn't capture that artillery. I don't know where it's gone, actually. Ah, it's gone into here, then. Fair enough. Right. Right, retaliation. Subvert the Indians. I think we shall try and subvert the Indians. Ah, we were trying to convince a local Indian tribe to go on the warpath on our side. 
That would be fantastic. Try and get them over here. Over here wouldn't be a bad idea either. Right, Indian Corporation. I could do that. $30,000, I have a lot of cash right now. What I don't have is war supply. Right, we have a few more Indians over here. Cavalry force. The Indians should be able to deal with that force fairly easily. Um, hmm, 900 men. I'm not entirely sure. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for these forts over here. If we take these forts, we can burn them afterwards and just reduce the amount of forts they have in this area. Right, we are moving that force of there. It's going to take them a long time and they are going to be very, very damaged by the time they get there. But at least they will be there. That force needs to be unlocked so I can use it. Right, the Memphis Squadron. Okay. We'll send them over here to real. Why are you taking so long? Three days, apparently. Okay. If you say so. Right, so we may have a chance to take in St. Louis, then. Very interesting. This force, I can't remember where they came from. Oh, right, it's that force. Okay, I thought it was another force, then. I was going to say, where did they come from? Right, Fairfax is garrisoned. Harper's Ferry has been taken. That's no good. Right, I need a force to retake that. Uh, we'll send some volunteers over here to Harper's Ferry. We'll have them retake the town. There we go, 14 days. The marines are being built. Good. Right, we have another... Level 2 commander over here. I'm going to have him sent over here. We could make him into a core commander. Or... Yeah, you know what I mean. Right, 51 days until we have this extra siege artillery. Can't wait. Should I send these extra men? Ah, uh, No, we're gonna hang on to them. There's always a possibility that the Union lands at naval forces like here. Right, that's hardly anything to be even considered a threat. Interesting that we're not continuing our fire on that fleet. But that well. So we'll give them hell over here. Yeah, they have a lot of forces over here, so if I can destroy those, I should be able to capture quite a lot, and um, hopefully... ...some war supply from the enemy. Right, economic sunrise, fantastic. Right, we are taking some damage from the actual elements out at sea, but there's not much I can do about that. Though I wish. Okay, so we could increase the rail pool and other things like that. We could start building up more arsenals, which could be a good idea. Right, armories. We need ironworks, really. 75. Alabama and Georgia. We can afford... Um... Right, powder mills. Hmm. Ironworks is where it's out, though. Right, we'll go for the 60 ironworks. Where was it? Or am I confusing it with something else? Ah, oh, there we go, the arm, um, yeah. Ah, right, so it's the 51, fair enough. I can keep hold of that. Right. Texas Rangers. Okay. Yes, we are seeing a large amount of US troops over here. So I think we are going to destroy the rails at Houston. Or should I? Hmm. We're already cut off from reinforcement by these forces over here in Liberty. We'll see what we can do. There's not really anything of uh, value over here. Houston's worth a little bit, but other than that, there's nothing too valuable over there, so I am... I'm okay with that. We do have this force, but we also have a force over here of Union men. 
And we know how valuable New Orleans is. I'd rather not take the risk. Right, we've seen some friendships over there. Yeah, so I am very much intrigued to see what's going to happen next. There's not that much force in uh, DC now. We could potentially beat that. I do wish we had landmines. Right, we might go for some requisitions. Yes, we'll go for requisitions, build up our cash. It is going to lower our uh, loyalty in these regions, but if I could... It will regrow. And I do want that cash. Hmm. Right, build a depot. Ha. Huh. Interesting. I could go and destroy that, but I am better off trying to take DC, aren't I? Right, we have these militiamen, we're going to send them over there. Then into the uh, town. Okay, then, let's uh, go with that. Did not expect this kind of result, actually. I feel like we may win, and that's uh, scary. Usually when I feel like that, things don't always go to plan. But again, um, I have won before without even realizing. Oh well, we'll not count our laurels yet. I do feel it was a fact that our army was moving over to Analopolis and on to Baltimore, that possibly we might have triggered the enemy's defences. Or they may have uh, come out, I'm not entirely sure. Right, we're bombarding those ships. Yes. Right, there's a few more men than I expected, but they should be able to deal with it. Come on, men of the Confederacy. Right. Did we actually win that battle or not? Right, 96 morale. Hmm. I want a breach in the city, and I need my ironclad to do that. I've seen a lot of Union forces in the area. Is it worth it? Right, we do have our two-star over here. Right. E.B. Stewart. Why are you not... Right, you're a cavalryman. Hmm. You could be promoted, actually. Right, we do have an elite force over here. 532. Hmm. Right, let's try and make a solid core over here. Get that in there. Yeah, so we practically have a third army here now. Right, four command points. Who do we have in here who's capable? Nobody else with really any special, but that 4 4 is pretty good. 3 1 1. Yeah, so actually, no, three, uh, 4 3 4 is pretty damn good. We'll give him command of these men. Okay.
lot of commanders in here. 